What's up, everybody? This is Big Hurt with Prison Talk. And I want to say thank you to all our supporters who have been supporting our channel on YouTube, Fresh Out, Life After the Penitentiary. And I want to also say, tell your friends and family, if they haven't subscribed to our channel, to go ahead and do so because we're trying to reach 100,000 followers and we're trying to get this show on a network near you. So, um, you know, keep supporting our Instagram and our Twitter, which is Fresh Out Series. And, you know, keep keep clicking on our videos and liking, making comments. If you have any questions, send them to freshoutseries at gmail.com. And also, if you want to check out our website and order any of the apparel, the hats, you know, we can get you a custom jacket like this, a hoodie. Um, go to www.freshoutseries.com. Now, I had a question from one of our viewers. They were like, you know, Big Herc, you know, when you get out of prison, you have sex for the first time, what's it like? Well, I answered that in another video, but then somebody was asking, what's the craziest thing that you experienced after getting out of prison involving sex? Because we know you used to work in the porn industry. Well, when I got out and hooked up on all these different dating sites, you know, you were meet, I was meeting all these different people and I was on everything from, you know, uh, Plenty of Fish to, uh, Adult Friend Finder, you know, I was on all the sites, you know, I was, like I said, I was trying to make up for lost time. But anyways, um, you know, I ran across this phenomenon, which was the cuckold. So, you know, when you're looking at people's profiles and seeing what they're into, and you're looking and you're reading the profile, you're like, the cuckold, huh? So I, you know, looked it up and seen what the definition was, and it's when another man likes to watch another man have sex with his wife. And for this particular uh, fetish, it's usually married white guys who like to see black guys bone their wives. And I was like, wow, this is something that's pretty it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, it's new to me. You know, I, I know in the porn industry, they said have little scenarios they would come up with. But now that you have the Internet, which they didn't have, you know, when I first went in at this level, it's, it's like an easy way to hook up now. So I actually met a group which uh, this guy, you know, put together and it specialized in BBC parties, which was big black cock parties for married white couples. So you would have this guy who was a white guy set up these parties and you would have married white guys. And I'm talking about everything from the guy who's uh, a sports agent to the guy who's a cop to the guy who uh, runs a Fortune 500 company coming through and they would come and bring their wives and it would usually be uh, probably eight or nine couples and um, they would uh, have about, I would say, six, six, anywhere from six to eight studs, brothers. And we'd come through there and it'd be like a lineup, you know what I'm saying? Before the party happened, they would have a whole breakdown of who was gonna show up and it was like, you know, uh, the all-star team. And the couples would show up, they'd be drinking wine and chilling and next thing you know, it'd be going down, man. And half the time, most of the, the, the couples, the, the husbands, they didn't even get undressed. They just kind of watched. And they would uh, coach and, you know, try to be directors of the scenes. And the brothers were just laying pipe. I mean, it was, it was like, it was like uh, something you would see out of the movies because it was going down. But anyways, man, it was the BBC parties, which is the big black cock parties. And uh, there'd be a lot of pipe being laid. And most of these women, uh, you could tell that if they were usually older cougars because uh, I would imagine they probably never dated a black guy outside their relationship before. So this was like a first for them. But it was a crazy fetish. And I mean, man, you would uh, you'd run through eight women in one night and these guys, the husband would be high-fiving you uh, while they're sitting there uh, drinking their wine and talking business with their the fellow uh, husbands and... Uh, the women just be going crazy, man. I'm talking about, you know, sucking fucking everything, man. It was going down. And this would go down, you know, a couple times a month. And it would be it would be just, it would be a hell of an experience. And I know a lot of guys are out there like, what the fuck? But, um, yeah, man, it would be brothers of uh, usually all in shape, good looking dudes. And the women will be excited. And it would be going down till 2, 3 in the morning. And we get there probably about, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night. But, um. Yeah, it was good times before I got married, but that's what was going down. And that was probably the craziest thing I realized that had actually changed, but it wasn't, I wouldn't even say it was something new. I would say because of the internet, it made it easier for people to tap into this fetish, 
But yeah, there was a lot of uh, a lot of married couples that wanted to hook up with a single black male and basically get their freak on. And that was going down on a regular basis, the cuckold party. So yeah, man, that was the craziest sexual thing I ran across was these sex parties with uh, married couples and uh, the brothers like Pike.